everybody hello my ninth in english channel studios welcome to yet another fantastic fabulous and fantastic session by vedanta ninth in english and this is pradesh your host your host and proud master teacher from vedanta welcoming you to your grade 9th chapter fundamental unit of life the cell so we already learned that how was cell discovered in the previous session by robert hook in 1665 and we also learned that Animal cues was the word that Anthony Van Leeuwenhoek gave to the live cells that he observed. Then we saw about the cell theory by Schleiden, Schwann, and Virchow. We saw that nucleus was discovered by Robert Brown, and today we'll be moving further into the chapter. So it's time to dive deeper into the world of cells. So once again, a very warm welcome to all of you. And this is some information about I, me, myself. You can follow me on Instagram at <coughs> sorry Pritesh underscore Vidyanth. That's my Instagram handle where you can follow me. And with this, we move ahead. बच्चों के मार्क्स जितने कम आते हैं, पापा का वॉल्यूम उतना ही बढ़ जाता है। ये होती है पढ़ाई। पर कभी सोचा है कि मार्क्स बढ़ाने की जिम्मेदारी सिर्फ बच्चों की क्यों? अब वेदांतु मार्क्स बढ़ाने की जिम्मेदारी लेगा, वरना आपकी पूरी फीस वाप to form structure of organism and perform its day to day functions how does this happen so it's a very very simple flow that we need to understand over here that cells combine to form tissues tissues combine to form an organ many organ comes together to form an organ system and when you put all the organ systems together you get an organism right you get an organism so cells tissues organ organ systems and organism so that is why we can say say that cell helps to form the structure of organism and perform its day to day function so what are we what are we we are nothing but a combination of our cells we are nothing but a combination of 37.2 trillion cells some books say 35.2 some books say 37.2 so more the better so we are 37.2 trillion cells in the human body right what are we we are a combination of 37.2 trillion cells right chal now moving on cell wall there are certain things about the cell wall that you need to understand so cell wall first of all is present in plants as well as bacteria cell wall in plants cell wall in plants is made up of cellulose right cell wall in bacteria is made up of peptidoglycan and cell wall in fungi is made up of lignin right this is some additional information which i am giving you remember students you have to crack your neat also so let's learn more than the book is offering us so remember that in plants the cell wall is made of cellulose in bacteria it's made up of peptidoglycan and in fungi it's made up of lignin now a very very important part about cell wall is that cell wall is freely permeable it is freely permeable it allows everything and anything to go in and out of the cell can anyone tell me in the chat why the cell wall is freely permeable so this is your homework where do i write it where do i write it so i write it over here this is your homework why cell wall is freely permeable why is the cell wall freely permeable tell me this answer in the comment section below come on you have to tell me the answer to this in the comment section below that why the cell wall is freely permeable theek hai moving on outermost covering of the plant uh, as well as the bacteria cell is the cell wall and is it, it is rigid in nature even though it is rigid it is freely permeable right it is freely permeable na in nature and now we come to the next component now we come to the next component of the cell that is yahan pe bhi ek arrow hai ha ah, correct so that is my cell membrane first of all you should know that the plasma membrane has another name that is cell membrane that is cell membrane cell membrane and plasma membrane is one and the same it is made up of 
lipids and proteins it is made of lipids and proteins it is made of lipids and proteins your cell membrane is made of lipids and proteins and this is semi permeable this is semi permeable present in all the cells present in all the cells whether it is plant or animal cell theek hai then outermost covering of the animal cell a uh, flexible made up of bilayer of lipids and proteins right uh, it is semi permeable in nature and now i come to the cytoplasm now what is the meaning of the word cytos see guys biology is a subject where you need to understand the term right understand the term and then the learning and the memorizing becomes very very easy so let us understand the term and then let us try to memorize it so the word cytos over here the word cytos over here means cell the word cytos means cell and the word plasm means liquid so cytoplasm is the liquid of the cell cytoplasm is the liquid of the cell the entire cell is filled with the cytoplasm all the organelles of the cell all the organelles of the cell like the nucleus uh, sorry like the mitochondria the ribosomes the lysosomes the vacuole all of them are suspended in the cytoplasm it is like a jelly it is like a jelly theek hai so that is the cytoplasm now it is thick solution which fills all the cells it is enclosed by the cell membrane nucleus it is the brain of the cell nucleus is the brain of the cell the most important part the most important nucleus you can call it as the brain of the cell when i talk about nucleus there are certain terms which we should understand when we are talking about nucleus so one is the nucleolus second is the nucleoplasm third is the nuclear membrane <coughs> so if you see over here this is the nuclear membrane it has got pores it has got pores this inside fluid is the nucleoplasm and this inside circular section is the nucleolus is the nucleolus here you will get your chromosomes here you will get your chromosomes and here is the rna and the protein synthesis rna and protein synthesis in the nucleoplasm sorry in the nucleolus and these are your chromosomes see now you are in ninth standard let us learn smartly right let us learn smartly and let us learn quickly so if you learn smartly and quickly then you will be able to finish your entire syllabus on time and then start with unit 10 i know i'm talking uh, too much in the future but see guys you need to be very clear about what is your focus about what you want and where you want to reach right so let us learn biology so nicely and so quickly i already told you in the first section itself that if you pay attention in my class you will not have to open your book again you will not have to open your book after the class right so we have covered cell wall cell membrane cytoplasm nucleus let's see what we have next to offer let's see what do we have next to offer theek hai now osmosis very very super important concept movement of solvent please 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 pay attention over here movement of solvent from a region of lower solute concentration to a region of higher solute concentration across a semi permeable membrane right movement of the solvent movement of the solvent from a region of lower concentration to a region of higher concentration across a semi permeable membrane how will you define osmosis osmosis is the movement of solute from a region of lower concentration to a region of higher concentration across a semi permeable membrane it needs energy it needs energy because it is going from lower to higher it's easy to drop water it's easy to drop water but it's difficult to lift water right so osmosis mein energy is required because it is going against the gravity from lower to higher right over here in osmosis energy is required because it is going from a region of lower concentration 
to higher concentration across a semi permeable membrane. This term semi permeable membrane is very very important. If you don't write this term, you will lose one mark. Right? Now there are three types of cells hypertonic, hypotonic, and isotonic. Let me display all the three to you and then we will talk about them. So, what do you mean by what do you mean by hypertonic solution? What do you mean by hypertonic solution? Here the cells shrink. The cells shrink. For example, you keep a resin or you keep a piece of a gray a grape. You keep a grape in very very salty water. You just put a grape in very very salty water. The grape will shrink. Why? Because the sugar from the grape has gone into the salt. Sugar from the grape has gone into the salt, so it will shrink. It will shrink. Ah. High solute concentration. It is used for food preservation, so that the food moisture reduces. You know, we dry fish. You know, we dry fish. We have learned in grade eight when we were learning the chapter microorganisms pertinent for food preservation. That sun drying is a method to preserve food. What do we do in sun drying? We dry food so that all the moisture goes away and the food shrinks and becomes dry. So sun drying is an example of hypertonic osmosis. Hypertonic osmosis where the moisture goes out and the cell shrinks. Right? Then in isotonic, nothing happens. In isotonic, nothing happens. It is balanced. It is balanced. It is neither swelling, neither shrinking. It is balanced. Right? So this is a balanced osmosis. No osmosis rather. And in hypotonic, the cell swells. For example, if you put, uh, you know, if you put raisins in water, if you put raisins in water, the water being less concentrated will move inside the raisin, and the raisin will swell. The raisin will swell. You can try this. Take a raisin, which is called kishmish in Hindi. Take this raisin, put it in water overnight. Next day, you will see that the raisin has swollen. Why it has swollen? Because the water from the glass has gone into the raisin. Lower concentration to higher concentration. Water has lower concentration. Raisin has sugar inside it, so it is highly concentrated. <coughs> so water goes from outside to inside, swelling the raisin, and that is called as hypotonic osmosis, where the raisin swells in size. Here the raisin shrinks in size and here nothing happens. So here what happens? Here what happens? The cell shrinks. Here it is normal and here it is swollen. Got it? Here it is swollen. So that is hypertonic. See how will you remember? Hyper. It's going out. It's shrinking. Hypo. It's a big O. So it's swelling and isotonic. That is balanced. Isotonic is balanced, right? Chal. So that is hypertonic, isotonic, and hypotonic. If you have any doubts, you can write to me at pritesh.joshiatvedantu.com, and you can also connect with me on Instagram at pritesh underscore vedantu. Now I have a question for you, whose answer I want you to give me in the comment section below. I also gave you a homework that why the cell wall is freely permeable, but here I have one more question. Robert Brown discovered nucleus from which of the plant? We know that Robert Brown discovered nucleus, but when? But when did he do it? From which plant? And guys, if you want to learn with me and all the amazing teachers of Vedantu, you must join the Vedantu AI live classes where you get you get to learn only for rupees four thousand. Only for rupees four thousand. So actually the cost actually. The cost of this course is rupees five thousand. Actually, the cost of this is rupees five thousand. But once you put the coupon code P R P R O, the cost comes down to rupees four thousand. So you can learn with me and all the amazing teachers for only rupees four thousand. For only rupees four thousand. Do grab this opportunity, guys. It's a wonderful opportunity that you all must take. And if you have any doubts, if you have any doubts that how do you enroll for this or what happens next. So there is a number that is flashing on the screen. That is eight nine five double one eight three seven zero three. You can just WhatsApp on that number any queries that you have, and your issues will be sorted. Right? So remember, P R P R O is something that you should remember. So let us do a couple of questions now from the previous session. 
The first free living cells in the pond were discovered by Schleden-Schwann, you will know, Virchow who? So we know that Schleden-Schwann began the cell theory along with Virchow. Robert who discovered the dead cells in the cork and Leuven who was one who observed living cells for the first time. The cell theory was proposed by Virchow, Purkinje, Robert Brown or Schleden and Schwann. So actually it's Schleden, Schwann plus Virchow both. Right? So they gave in 1838-1839 and then he gave uh, in 65. So it is actually A and B both, Kleden Schwann plus Virchow. Who discovered the nucleus? Just now we told it is Robert Brown. But you have to tell me in the comment section that he discovered the nucleus from which plant cell. Okay? So with that guys, we come to the end. Do not forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up. See guys, all your teachers, Bhavna ma'am, Anup sir, Amit sir, Sana ma'am, myself, Shilpi ma'am, all of us are taking so many efforts to create wonderful, informative, interactive videos for you. What is the least that you can do for us is show us your support that you are enjoying learning from us. How do you do that? So you give this video a big fat thumbs up first. You subscribe to Vedanta 9 and 10 English because it's absolutely free of cost. And also guys, you share this video. We are already following the campaign. Hashtag each one get one. Where we want each one of you to get just one more subscriber. Each one of you just get one more subscriber and that is all that we are asking you for and it's absolutely free. So let us make this family of Vedanta United English bigger, better, stronger. Thank you so much guys. God bless you. Wish you the very best. Take care. Thank you so much. Exam se pehle ghar wale shuru ja. Bata abdu pilo beta. Max ke lena. Tips har koi deta hai. इसलिए वेदांत तो इंप्रूवमेंट प्रॉमिस अब वेदांत तो मार्क्स बढ़ाने की जिम्मेदारी लेगा वरना आपकी पूरी फीस वापस